Hello, welcome to The Freak Show. Bumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I continue with my Let's Play of Pillars of Eternity. This is episode 32. In the last episode, we got beat down by a bunch of lions, lionesses, and elder lions. It was pretty unpleasant. Oh, okay. It looks like security reports that the Bleak Hollow Bandits have attacked the stronghold. That's not good. Sagani draws up beside you, her fox following at her heels. She takes a seat next to you. Even if you are putting one over on me. It's nice to have a hunting party again. Sounds like you've been gone from home Five for a long time. For me. Must be 30 something for Ichimok. Hearing his name, the fox looks up. Hmm. What an adventure. It certainly started out that way. It's been a long hunt. A long time away from my family. Before, I'd crossed the tundra of Nasitok following caribou herds. I didn't want to leave Kalu and our children, but I was eager to visit lands my people rarely do. But five years without finding him. It's like two hours of necking. I'm ready to be done with it. <laughs> That's an interesting analogy. Why do you, uh... Why do you have to find Prasak? Soul recovery is an old village tradition. We call it the Tarnak Elite Sock. Once in a generation, we seek the soul of a much respected and long dead village elder. We tell him what's changed in the village, how people remember him. The only other Tarnak Elite Sock during my lifetime happened when I was a girl, not long after Persak died. We feasted on blubber and fermented milk for a week, and we honored the chosen huntress as a hero. Well, that sounds awful. I don't think I want to ever feast on blubber and fermented milk. Ugh. She left, and we returned to our duties. We still sang her name to the skies during festival season, but we otherwise didn't speak of her. I see. I'm sure your people still remember you. You're so, you're kind to say so, but I'm not so fragile that I need my name chanted in the meeting halls. It's not being forgotten by my village that troubles me, but sometimes I wonder how my husband and children remember me. If they think of me often. Of course they do. They must. I would like to believe it, and yet... Sometimes days go by and I realize that they have not crossed my thoughts. Such, are, such days are rare, but they do happen. She looks away, tugging at the strap of her quiver. It shames me to think of it, but more than that, it scares me. Still, there's no point in dwelling on it. More often I find myself wondering whether Persok will remember us. You... Claim to see souls. What do you think? Do you remember your past lives? Uh, yes, in fragments. She leans a hair's breath, breath, breadth closer. Really, what's it like? Um, frustrating. I wish I, I only wish I knew more. She sits back. I don't envy you. I guess I'm lucky to only have to worry about someone else's past life. Makes me wonder what Persak remembers about our village. Or if a turn at the wheel has yanked the details out of his mind like it does for most of us. What would you tell him about your village? The is probably much the same as it was a hundred years ago. We live between tundra and frozen forests, and the land takes as much as it gives. But our hardships bring us together. And the elders truly unite us. They keep the stories of past generations, and they guide us from season to season, through good years and lean. Itumak brushes against her hip, and she scratches his head. Recently, there have been a lot of good years. My aunts, or aunts, say we've had fewer clashes with neighboring villages thanks to the hunting territories that Persak Persak had established for us. In bad years, we rely on trade with the merchants that pass our shores. We exchange walrus tusks and sea pelts for grains that last us the hard winters. Persak brokered a lot of those agreements, too. She held up the bear figurine. He got this from one of the Awamao ships that used to trade with us. Sounds like Prasak did a lot for That's your people. What I'm supposed to remind him. Sounds like you're on a hunt of your own, though. You feeling the thrill of the chase, or ready for this to be over? Uh, I enjoy the adventure. Each Every day brings something new. Refreshing indeed. Alright, well, let's go. I don't want to talk all the entire episode long, it? so we're not going to do that. We're going to do a quick save real quick. Quick save real quick, I know. Impressive, right? Okay, let's get on. Let's get moving. Alright, what are we looking at here? Oh, well, hold on. Before we do anything else. Security reports that Bleak Hollow Bandits will attack the Stronghold in three days. Oh, really? That's pretty interesting. I like that. Um, the two days and 22 hours remaining. 
The bleak hollow bandits from the northern wilds have been reported crossing the plains east of Cade Nua. They'll be on our doorstep at any or any day now. How do we auto resolve or manual resolve? Must travel to Cade Nua to participate in the defense. That's pretty sweet. I'm totally gonna do that if I remember. That's awesome. Like I'm super stoked to see that. That is really cool. All right, let's make sure we clear out all this area here. We'll stay in sneaky, sneaky mode. I don't think I ever did this in like Baldur's Gate or any of the other games. I never walked around in stealthy mode. I realized that this game it might be a little bit different, considering you can only uncover secrets and traps and stuff in stealth mode. I can't recall if Baldur's Gate and stuff like that actually had that feature. I want to say no, it didn't, but I don't know for certain. I don't really know. Apparently I somehow turned off my detection thingy. Because I'm a boss like that. Alright, well we shall explore all of this slowly and see if there's any more lions or tigers or bears. Oh my, or anything else. Ooh, we found a dead guy over here. That's pretty exciting. Maybe not for him, but for us. Okay, hello dead guy. We've come to get your treasure loot and we shall have it. And apparently we are back near the road at this point, or the road. Oh, there's a deer. Does the deer want to fight me? It doesn't appear to be uh, a fighting deer. Or a deer of the fighting variety. What is this thing? Now this I have Aha! What is this? Ooh, we got some silver stuff that we turned into three copper coins or copper pieces or capital. Oh gosh, not those things. I hate those things a lot. How many are there, I wonder? Alright, let's position ourselves so we can actually do some battle. We shall use our wonderful fox here to scout it out. We know there's at least two. It looks like maybe there's three? Yeah, it looks like there's three. It's gonna be a nasty fight no matter what, but I think we'll be okay. So let's, let's aggro them. Okay, it looks like they are already triggered and ready to do horrible things to us. I'm going to go after that one, I'm going to go after this one, and then everybody else is going to focus it. And then we'll get the fox to actually move in as well. Fortunately, we're going to fight behind a pillar, so it's not exactly going to look the most fancy or fantastical. We're going to use our designation, and we're probably going to cast... Yeah, we're going to have spells cast upon us. Alright, already we're starting to take quite a significantly large amount of damage. We are ready to actually cast a couple different spells right now. That should do a pretty decent job at eliminating or at least wounding some of our enemies here. So I'm going to walk over and I'm going to go over here and do this and lower their damage resistance. And hopefully that is enough. We're going to have the fox actually go after that one. And we're going to get a little bit further away and we're going to turn and attack. Looks like Hammy Hampton is getting wrecked just a little bit. And I think we need to knock down that one. Okay, and then we're going to turn around and go after this. We're going to probably throw out, like, maybe a tier 1 heal right there. It's fairly decent, and I think if we're, like I said, if we're fortunate, we might be able to actually kill this one. And it's looking like maybe I'm wrong here. There we go. All right, down it went. Turn all of our attention to this one. And maybe with another spellbook attack. We still haven't looked at that other grimoire yet. I, I realize this, folks. I'm going to walk over and smack him with my book. Okay, actually, I'm not going to do that. We're pretty banged up at this point, but I think we've we've got enough oomph to actually be able to do this. I'm going to come around here and book slap her. Did not do much damage, I'm not going to lie. It was a little lackluster there. I'm going to come here. Probably going to throw out another heal on all of us. I'm here. Assuming we can actually do that before the next tick of whatever damage is ticking. And I think with a little bit of luck and a whole lot of... I don't, I don't know what. Is that Hammy Hampton there? That is. I'm going to throw this heal thing out on myself. And it looks like our fox is nearly dead, but the Puigra thing, the Puigra, I guess, is dead. Yes. We have been victorious. That was a nasty, nasty fight, but we managed it, so. 
Whatever. All right. We're going to do another quick save here. That was scary stuff, though. It was indeed scary stuff. All right, folks. Sorry about that. Unfortunately, um, my wife came home needing me to unload the groceries, and as luck would have it, I forgot to unpause yes. or uh, pause the game, rather, so I had to load the quick save real quick. And let's see. We were going to wander around a bit. We just killed these things, right? Yeah, we just killed these. There was nothing here, at least nothing noticeably here. And we were going to try... I don't know, try to do something else here. Um, we were going to sneak around, discover the rest of this place that we haven't done quite yet, and then we were going to hope that we could clear out this whole area and get back in time to rescue our keep from the bandits that were coming. I think that was what our plan was. That was what our hope, our goal, our dream was. So, let's see. Oh gosh, what is that? That is a... That is a feral druid. That does not sound like something I want to play with. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to go actually explore and see what exactly a feral druid is and if there's more than one of them. And there is more than one. Is there more than two? Was the question. Oh, apparently we have aggroed and got rooted. Do we just pull one? It kind of looks like we did, but I don't actually think we did. I'm going to keep Edder over here in case stuff comes down from there. Aren't Druid spellcasters? I, I feel like they might be. Oh gosh, he just turned into a... What is that? A giant werewolf moose? What the heck is a werewolf moose? Well, whatever it is, it's going to die, I hope. I'm going to split these guys up a little bit. I also think that they cast spells quite profusely. Uh, feral druids, so if that is indeed the case, I would much rather not get murdered by it. We're gonna stay in slow mode. And I don't think anything else is coming, so I could probably pull Edder over here. Uh, it looks like. Ow, I just got hit with a lightning bolt. Fantastic. Okay, so we've handled whatever that was. Well, there's at least one more to deal with. Ooh, shiny stuff. I would like to keep that in... Let's just go with the Owl Mao guy. Or the Ratu Ai guy. Alright, well, we're going to go back into sneaky, sneaky stealth stealth mode. We're going to do the same thing. And we're going to take a peek with the fox. I like the fox. Of course. I like it a lot. I can actually get people up into position before I have to actually do battle with things. And I can scout with the fox and not have to worry. If it dies, it dies. Oh, there's there. Oh, there's a whole bunch. I'm glad I didn't actually. Oh gosh, I aggroed all three now. All right, let's see. Can we tell if any of them are particularly spellcasty? Maybe we should go focus on the backline guy with everybody, and then send Hammy over to deal with this one. I think that's what I'm gonna try. Gonna get the fox to continue to retreat. Okay, I think I also need to move over here with you. We need to go into slow mode. Slow mo mode. Slow mo mode. And we need to cast this and hurt a lot of people. Well, let's see if this works out. And I don't know what's going to happen, but I hope there's no more lightning bolts or anything awful like that coming our way. And speak of the devil. There is indeed a lightning bolt that came our way. We're going to do a big heal cast. Oh gosh, why is he so hurt? Is he standing in like toxic sludge? I mean, this does not seem super good. Oh gosh, there's lightning everywhere. Alright, going to cast a spell there. We're going to probably try to consecrate the ground. As long as we don't get hit with like a stun. Okay, we dropped one. There's only two left. I'm going to go and smack this guy, but I think I'm going to focus this guy as well. So let's go with that, and can you cast a spell yet? You can. Let's cast that over there on you. And let's get a little bit closer and then go after him. Can Edder knock this guy on his booty? I think so. I hope so. Is he going to at least attempt it or do anything? I mean, I... There it goes. He is down. That is sweet, sweet, nice. Who's this guy? 
Oh, that's Kana, okay. And if we can just drop this guy, I think we'll be in a pretty good spot. I don't know. We're trying. We're trying to drop him. And... Oh, there's so much damage. Alright, we dropped him all, and the last guy looks like he's almost toast. Unfortunately, it cost uh, the fox its life again, but... With finality, ladies and gentlemen, we have done it. We have defeated... I... Yes. I guess if, I guess if we didn't pull the other one, we would have probably died there. We got really lucky. Like, really lucky. Oh, wow, they have some cool stuff. A lot of cool stuff. Flying, fine flails, or flying flails, uh, fine hide armor, all sorts of good stuff. Look, money, some potions, I mean, all sorts of stuff. I will definitely take it all. What is it? Okay, let's hope that was the end of them. So what I'm going to do is kind of look up here at whatever is left. I don't know why this isn't really, like, lootable or showing up as lootable, but meh. It is what it is, and I think that's it. I think that is the entirety of it. So this is like a little druid grove, huh? Unpleasant. Unpleasant. Definitely don't want to fight any more feral druids or drakes. I mean, my goodness. But hey, you know what? We did what we did, and that's okay. And we're going to head back to our base, probably fiddle around for a little bit, and then... Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to defend our base from horrible bad things. It's going to take us 20 hours to get there. Let's do it. And I think it'll be about time for me to break off the episode after just a little bit of fiddling. I'm actually going to go and rest. I think resting is going to be the biggest and best thing we can do. And then we'll do the manual defense. I don't know what that's all about, but it sounds exciting. I don't think we have any automated defense. So, sweet. Oh, and the main construction thing. Yeah, that's right. That did get finished, didn't it? All right, let's go here, and we can bar the passage of invaders from across the Icy Len River, or Yen River. The Bailey, various necessities to keep the stronghold self-sufficient. Building this upgrade will allow you to upgrade the grounds further. Towers above the walls are granted towers are granted perception bonus while I'm resting at Bright Hollow. Uh, the library, countless volumes of ancient lore. Lore bonus, the barracks. That's the one that we want. So I think we're going to go with the barracks first. So we'll do that. I would like to see what we need to get to where we can actually send people out to start doing stuff. Oh, here we go. This is pretty cool. Hedge maze. I mean, we have a lot of stuff. Okay, restoring your... Restoring yours may return semblance of order to the keep. The labs and the courtyard pool. Well, alright, let's go take a look around and see what we've actually accomplished now. Alright, I don't think anybody's leveled yet. I mean, how close are we to leveling? Does it tell us? Oh, we're real, real close. Well, okay, I say we're real, real close. We're, we're about 500 away, 420. 420 away with him. Six, nah, that's what, that's 560 away with him. About the same, a little bit less, a little bit about the same, and a little bit less. Eh, it's okay. Let's go uh, stop up over here and check out our deal. I think the manual defense is now actually available for us. We have one day and, well, we technically have two days. One day and 24 hours would be one day, plus another day. That would be two days, guys. All right, let's go in here and take a look. And hopefully it will allow us to rest. We only have two, uh, we have three camping supplies left. Um, well, it looks like the stairs have been re rebuilt. A lot of the place is still pretty mangled, pretty messed up, but at least the stairs were rebuilt. And I don't know what we can do here. Nice and quiet. I am pretty excited though. All right, here we go. Looks like there is a lot of stuff here. Walk around. I don't know if we can loot the stuff or what we need to do, but let's open the door over here and go take a look out the window. The window on the other side of this curtain looks down on a tangled mess of overgrown hedges. Oh, sweet. We can rest. Nice. I'm going to do that right now. There we go. We are well rested now, and I'm going to go take a look at all these different things. What is this? The wilderness of the deer wood rambles on beyond the house. 
And it's a chest, and I guess we can just store random things in the chest if we wanted to? That's pretty neat. If we don't want to carry everything with us and we wanted to save some stuff for later. Oh, we have Hiravanus. Hiravias. As a peripatetic loner, I'm not privy to the latest news. But the Hollowborn Children is a tale that has reached even my reclusive ears. Or, rather, ear. Okay, we should be on our way. Speak another time. Lead the way. So that's pretty cool. We could actually gather him up if we wanted from here. The wilderness outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have anybody else in the actual rooms at this point? It does not look like it yet. Anything? The bed. I cannot click on it. It will not work. It doesn't want to let me click on that. That's okay. I don't need to click on it. It's totally fine. Okay, what's over here? A drawer. We can throw stuff in there. Or a drawer. And again, nothing. And maybe it'll let me click on this bed. A thick woven weir... Were wool feels soft and warm. Sure. That. Alright, folks. Well, I think I'm going to break it off right here upstairs. And in the next episode, we shall defend our stronghold against the forces that would come to slay us. Bandits, apparently. Which should be, hopefully, a decent chunk of experience. If it is, and we are successful, and maybe we can get a reward for doing it. Maybe the, the little thrones can be like, Oh my gosh, you saved us all. We're so happy then maybe they'll give us a bonus experience reward, and then we will level up and then be more powerful than ever. My biggest thing is I would like my spellcasters to level up so I can get uh, maybe access to do spells or at least more of the same spells. Either way, folks, that's going to do it for this episode of Pillars of Eternity. I will see you tomorrow with more, or at least another episode of Pillars of Eternity. Until that time, my name's Bumpy McSquiggums. I want to thank you for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later.